fewer teens are being illegally sold vaping supplies. Yeah, something even vape shop owners say is a great thing. New at 5, Channel 8 Diabetes News reporter Bailey Bischoff joins us now with more details. Bailey? That is right, Rod and Megan. This data comes from the 2018 tobacco compliance checks, and it shows a significant drop in businesses selling to minors. In 2017, more than 20% of businesses checked by law enforcement sold vapes or vapor products to minors. In 2018, that number was down to just over 5%. We are doing our job well, getting community awareness raised about the idea that it's not okay for a youth to possibly start a lifetime tobacco addiction through um, early vaping. By law, you have to be 18 or older to buy vapor products because they can contain nicotine. Last year, three convenience stores sold them to minors more than once and 16 sold them one time. A business you won't see on those lists anytime soon, Aloma Vapor. Tom Bowen, director of operations for Aloma, says they've been longtime supporters of age restrictions for vaping products. Uh, Aloma, even before there were laws uh, in effect, uh, either in the state or federally, uh, maintained that nobody under the age of 18 would be allowed to vape or have access to vapor products. Because he says they aren't to be used for fun or for novelty, but as a safer alternative to cigarettes. Vaping is for people that are smokers, and it is an alternative uh, for many people to get off of tobacco-related products. While vaping can help smokers quit, the health department says it can also encourage non-smoking youth to start. Youth who use a vaping product are four times more likely within the next year to go on to use a cigarette. Which is why she says it's important for business owners to continue to card. Most of the stores who didn't comply were convenience stores. Only three smoke shops made the list. In Lincoln, Bailey Bischoff, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.